breaking news. We're going to take it to a Utah courtroom now where actress Gwyneth Paltrow is testifying in her own defense. She's being sued over a 2016 Eric collision at a ski Christian resort. Yes, Let's listen in. Moses's instructor. Correct. Okay. And um, that was when you were concerned that, oh, gosh, Moses is close by. He's hearing me yell obs obscenities at this man. Which is not my custom. Right. And I think you said that. And at some point... The man stood up, and we were all sort of talking. Yes. What conversation did you have with Mr. Sanderson standing up? I wasn't having a conversation with him. Eric was helping him up and asking if he was okay. Okay. Eric eventually yanked him up, right? He pulled him up. He helped him up. Okay. He didn't get up on his own accord. He helped him. And were you still standing right there when he helped him? I believe I was, yes. Are you sure you hadn't skied down a little bit? I, I might have skied down a little bit. My, my son was down a little bit, and my now husband came over at some point. Okay. Um, so I, and I remember moving away from Mr. Sanderson after he collided into me and we hit the ground. Okay. And do you remember... Um, we heard from Craig Ramon. He was the first individual who testified. Do you remember him coming to the scene? I do not. You don't remember him at all? No. You don't remember him being there or asking you, are you okay? I do not. Okay. You don't remember him asking Terry if he was okay? I don't recall. Okay. All right. And then... I think what you've said is Eric told you, I'm going to handle this. Um, and that's what I think you've said people do. They handle things for you. I don't believe I said that. You've never said that? I believe what I said was in the acting world, that's a world of representatives. So you have an agent who represents you. And so if they say, you know, I'm going to provide information, you allow somebody to represent you. So when Eric, as an accredited Deer Valley ski instructor said to me, I'll fill out the paperwork. He knew also that my daughter was at the bottom waiting for me to come for lunch or at the lunch place. Okay. And so Mr. Christensen handled it for you? Mr. Christensen stayed and filled out the report, made sure Mr. Sanderson was okay, and said to me, you can go ahead. Okay. How, how do you know that if you weren't there? Because he told me. Okay. That's what he told you? Yes. But you weren't there to see it. He told you you can leave. He wasn't there. Objection. I object to the form. Yeah. I don't understand Sustained. the question. Sustained. Go ahead with your questions. You weren't there when the paperwork or the exchange of information was given. Fair? Fair. All right. And um, would you agree that Mr. Christensen did not see the incident, didn't see the collision? Correct. Okay. He just uh, saw us right afterwards. Right. But, and in fact, nobody from Deer Valley has seen, saw the collision. Correct. Your kids didn't see the collision. That's right. Okay. Um, the only person that, and you may not be aware of this, the only person who says that they saw the collision was Mr. Ramon. Yes. Okay. Do you, the way you answer that makes me think that you don't believe that he saw it. I did not believe his testimony. Do you believe that he saw the collision? No. I don't believe that he saw what he thinks he saw. Ms. Paltrow, why would he lie? This is a man... Is a motive, Your Honor? But, uh, perhaps that's not the right objection under the rules, so let me be quiet and withdraw my objection. <laughs> Can you answer it? He said he was at 40 feet away and colorblind. I don't know how he can be positive about what he saw, especially with how much he changed his story. Well, what does colorblind have to do with anything? My husband's colorblind. We tease him all the time that he can't tell red or green. Um, but what does that have to do with not seeing who hit who? Well, if you have two people in ski gear mm -hmm. with helmets on and you're 40 plus feet away, I'm not sure how you can discern who is who. Okay. Well, and I can tell you that he didn't because Mr. Sanderson categorically hit me on that ski slope. And that is the truth. 
and, and I'm sure that that's what you believe. I'm not saying because that, it's the truth. I, I'm not saying that. Um, Let's get a question. So you and Mr. Sanderson, if you're almost 5'10", Terry's 5'5", five five, pushing it. Your Honor, that's facts, not in evidence. Counsel, you'll have an opportunity to redirect or to direct examine. So go ahead. If, if you two stood next to each other, do you think that somebody would confuse the two of you? I, I don't know. I'm telling you what happened. Okay. All right. So you're screaming at Terry, worried that Moses hears you. You admit that you were shaken up. Yes. Okay. Um, you don't recall Mr. Ramon being there? I do not. Or asking you if you were okay? I do not. Do you, did anybody ask you if you were okay? I remember Eric Christensen asking me if I was okay and Brad, my now husband, asking me if I was okay. Okay, and when you talked to Brad, he was down further, right? Yes. Down with Moses. So none of that took place where my client was? He came over to me after the fall. Okay. And I just want to make sure you don't have any kind of medical training. No. Okay. You don't know what injuries Mr. Sanderson did or did not sustain in, in the accident? I do not. Okay. Are you aware now that you've sat here the last three days that he did sustain four broken ribs? Yes. Okay. Aware that he sustained a concussion? Yes. Okay. Um, are you aware that he had to be taken down on a toboggan? So, we should be clear, like, does she know as a result of this testimony, or does she know personally? Would you clarify your question? Yeah, sure. Um, how, how did you learn that he broke four ribs? Through all of this. Okay, and, and to make it clear, I don't want to find out anything that your lawyers told you. That's attorney-client privilege. We can't. So anytime mm -hmm. I'm asking you, I don't want you to tell me what your lawyers have, have told you. Okay. Um, through the court proceedings, is that fair? That's fair. All right. You learned that Mr. Standerson broke four ribs. Yes. Okay. And that he sustained a concussion. Correct. Okay. That he went was taken down on toboggan. Yes. Did you learn of that that day? No. Did you inquire? What is your name again? Sorry. Kristen? Yes. Sorry, I was going to say Kristen. Sorry. Right. I think you have to keep in mind when you're the victim of a crash, right, your psychology is not necessarily thinking about the person who perpetrated it. Okay. So the answer to my question is no, no you did not inquire. I did not. Okay. Did you ever um, ask, hey, how was that guy that ran into the back of me? Is he okay? Did you ever ask anybody from Deer Valley about that? I did not because at the time I did not know that he had sustained injuries like that. I thought it was very minor on the day. And you didn't stick around long enough to find that out? I stuck around long enough for him to say he was okay, to stand up, that he told Mr. Christensen he was okay. And when he, when he was helped up by Mr. Christensen, um, again, you weren't right there. You were down a ways. Just a few feet down, yes. Okay. Could you tell if Mr. Sanderson was still dazed or unsteady on his feet? I, I could not. I don't know. Okay. And again, you didn't leave your name, address, contact information. You didn't fill out any paperwork in connection with this accident. Eric did on my behalf. Right, but I'm asking about you personally. Well, it has been asked and answered. Sustained. Okay. After the incident, you skied down, went to lunch, and then my understanding is you got a massage. So after the accident, I met all the rest of the kids at lunch. We all gathered. We had lunch. And I still felt very shaky, and my knee was bothering me, my back was bothering me, so I decided to go in early and get a massage. Okay. Um, you never did seek any kind of medical treatment for your knee or your back? No. Okay. Um, now, at the scene, before you skied down and, and had lunch, um, there was no indication that Mr. Sanderson 
knew who you were. Is that fair? I don't know. Okay. I think, well, you testified there was no indication of that. You were wearing goggles, a helmet. Yes. Okay, kind of looked like everybody else on the slope. That's always my intention. Okay. Probably had a better ski outfit, though, I bet. <laughs> I still have the same one. <laughs> I just have one. Okay. So nobody on the hill would be able to recognize you. Is that fair? Maybe your family I have and friends. Been, I have been recognized on ski slopes before. Okay. Do you recall testifying in your deposition that no one in the, on the hill would be able to recognize me? That would be the idea. Okay. But sometimes paparazzi has a way of figuring it out is my point. Okay. Um, so your testimony to the jury here today is Mr. Sanderson skied into you. That is correct. All right. Um, Craig Ramon, you said he's not telling the truth or you don't believe him. I don't. I, I'm telling you that what he said is not what happened. Okay. So in other words, if somebody says something that's not what happened, they're lying. He is not telling the truth. All right. I don't know if he knows he's lying, but I'm telling you what he said is unfortunately not the truth. All right. Well, in addition to Mr. Ramon, you've sat here when some of the experts have testified. Mm -hmm. We had um, Dr. Gibby and we heard uh, Dr. Bame. I always want to say bomb or bome. Yes. Bame. Mm -hmm. You've heard their testimony that the only way that Mr. Sanderson's ribs could have been broken where they were is that if he was hit from behind you disagree with that I think it misstates their testimony I guess I'm not sure what the objection is but it's overruled the jury will have to remember what the testimony was that means you get to answer you you disagree with their testimony absolutely I disagree okay um what medical training do you have to disagree with that I'm just telling you the truth of what actually happened okay that's all I can do. All right. And you don't have any other witnesses who saw it to uh, support your position, correct? Well, I have a lot of witnesses who saw the split seconds afterwards and the positions of the bodies on the mountain, which would indicate very clearly who hit who. Okay. Do you have any witnesses who saw it? Who saw the, the collision? The collision. No. All right. And you're not trained in accident reconstruction. Me? Yeah. No. Neither am I. All right. Um, so, Ms. Paltrow, isn't it true that this was an accident that you caused? No, ma'am. Okay. Um, would you agree that you are accident prone? So, Your Honor, can we have a, a bench meeting on this. Why don't we take our recess now? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.